You're watching UNICEF Television. <coughs> Fatima is one of the Sahel's survivors. Once one of four children, now just her and her brother are still alive. Their struggle is testament to the growing difficulty that is sustaining life on the edge of the Sahara Desert. Brought to this clinic both hungry and sick, she weighs just seven kilos. At the age of five, she should weigh at least twice that. At the start, I was very scared because Fatima had fever and diarrhea, but I know it's up to God what happens, so I have faith in him. Fatima has lost two kilos in the month since she arrived at the clinic, a direct consequence, her nurse says, of complications associated with acute malnutrition. It's a desperate situation, but one which is apparently now improving. When Fatima came here, she didn't speak. She was always lying down. Now she's asking for water and food. She's lost weight, but now we've got hope. Fatima is one of the worst affected in what's being called a permanent emergency across the Sahel. Today, in this region, UNICEF, together with humanitarian actors, are struggling to save lives of thousands of children with urgently needed therapeutic supplies. And this is where lives are being saved every day, at feeding centers for babies and young children. Hawa was first brought here seven weeks ago and is being weighed as part of a regular checkup. Her mother Zara is 20 and says she can't afford to buy food for her four children. When we give this to severely malnourished children, it gives them the chance to gain weight rapidly. Plumpy nut is a very rich food, so even in one week it can make a real difference. An hour's walk from the doctor, Zara is looking at the remains of this year's crop. On the edge of a once fertile wadi, this should have been a field of millet. There has been no rain, and that's why our farming has failed again. I've just come here to collect firewood. This sort of crop failure is now common here. Zara's husband, like many of the men, had to leave in search of work. In this part of Chad, hotter, drier weather has made it harder to grow crops. But when the rain does come, it's often more violent and destructive. Mao was built on a dune in between four wadis. Now huge ditches like this are cutting the town apart. The dryness and the strength of the wind have made the sand very fine. So when the rain comes, it washes all the ground away and makes these ravines. For now, feeding centers are preventing a humanitarian catastrophe. But the underlying question is troubling. After years of failed harvests, is life on the edge of the Sahara still sustainable? Or are these children being born into a lifetime of dependency? This is Jonah Fisher reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org, Unite for Children.